one of the guys on the YouTube uh, asked me to make a detailed uh, video on my hydro set, so we're going to try to do that, see if you can understand it. Well, well fortunately, I, uh, I can show how it used to be by using this tractor down here. I've never, this, this probably year or two years I got painted, never cranked it up, never, well I did run it a little bit, backed it up, went forward, and the carburetor sacked up. Then I went all that problem with my heart, getting all the stents put in, this, that, and other, and I gave up on it and quit for a while. But anyway, if you pay close attention, this part right here, this part right here, this is, it's no different than this piece right here. All I done was move the, the function from here to here. And I'll explain to you how I did it best I can. All right now, if you look at the, this pivot point right here, which would be that pivot point for my hydro step down there. All right. You see from, from this center to here, you see that distance there? Well, I'll show you over here. All right, now look, you see that? Not this first joint right here is moving, but that links that goes forward. You see that? I can't point to it. I'm in an awkward position. I'm in between the tractor and the building right here. So it's hard for me to show you. Anyway, I'm gonna try to stick my hand here and show you. Let me see if you can see what I'm seeing. I think you can. You see this part right here? Going through here? This is your pivot, that no there. This is that arm I just showed you. It's on here, it's doing the same thing. Well that arm is running over here. And I'm gonna show you what I did. Now this piece, this piece right here, is actually, I copied it. This is the piece that came out of here. It went through here. That arm right that arm right there just went up and went into this. Well it went into this part. Anyway, your furthest your furthest one you see moving over there. That's your pivot. That's your pivot. Same as this pivot right here. When you're doing no, not that pivot. It's that pivot up here, just going through here. Well, pretend, pretend that this pedal is up here. This is a pedal up here. It's no different. You're just moving this same design down here. This is kind of hard to explain. But anyway, that pivot runs all the way across, runs all the way across the tractor to the other side. And right here is a, I'm going to call it a bearing cap. Whoa, try to, this right here is a bearing cap. You can, you don't have to be as fancy as mine. I done mine in my, I done mine in a lathe and cut all the pieces out. And which I have another bearing cap right here. This bearing cap, oh! You see this nut here? That's the same nut that went up there. Same nut. All right, now, you see how this arm comes from this pivot here? Off of this pivot, what used to blown up here, this rod was up here, it used to, it used to push this, same way it used to put, way it's pushing it now, the same way it's pushing it now. You see it? But the only thing I did, if you notice these two arms, this one, and Oh, I can't get in and see that one right there. That arm hooked on his other shaft right here. I had to flip it upside down. See, both of these are up. See that movement right there? That one's up. And that one's up. See it? Now I'm going to show another tractor. I had to flip it. Oh, let me get out of this tight corner. Hey, hey I'm getting old as hell. Whew. Getting old, getting old, getting old. It's same as, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh. 
we look at the tractor backwards now, so uh, this arm that moves up here is moving that lever right there. See it? Now all I've done was move that lever straight down. I just moved this lever right here, this shaft, I moved it down here. This is still in the same place, but you see this linkage right here, I had it hang down. Rather than hanging it down, I went up with it. I put it on the top. I, you just cut it off right there. If I can see what the hell I'm doing. Cut that off, weld it on the top, let it stand up. Then when you put this shaft here, through the track, do the frame here somewhere, you'll have it. The only thing you got to change, like I say, you just got to cut that shaft off right there. And put that shaft on top, just like that shaft on the top. And uh, if you look at both of them, it's the same. Well, if you look at that, of course, your track has already got this, so you don't need this part here. Alright. Well, we're going to do the same thing, same thing, and let you see what we were doing. I don't know if you can see it or not. I need both a camera where I can turn my monitor up where I can see it. This camera here has got a flat screen on it. And I can't see it on the sideway. But anyway, you see both of these arms here? That one. And that one right there. They're both up. Over there on that track. Over there they're both down. So, you just got to reverse one of them. You got to keep this one up. And that used to be down. Now you got to make it up. So, I don't know if uh, you've seen enough to know how to do it or not. But, uh. All you got to do is imitate what's up top is on the bottom, and you'll be fine. Huh, I'm hitting that line. I just now noticed that up there. See that line moving? I'm glad I seen that. Wow, I got to fix that. I'll wear a hole in it. But, uh, like I say, that's the boat. That's the shaft that went through there. All I done was just move all this stuff down. I move this down, then I move this pivot point, used to be up here, I just moved it down here. So, or either, no, right here, I moved it up here, I'm sorry. So it's doing the same thing we're doing up there. And your uh, neutral spring. Oh man, I can't hardly get in this building. See that neutral, never mind this cup holder. Never mind that piece of wood. But see that spring on the end? That all that I let go of the pedal is pulling right back neutral. When I go in reverse, it's pulling right back neutral. So no matter what I do, I push it right back to neutral. So that's all that's doing. So I hope that helps. If you need any more information on how watch what, let me know and I maybe I can go in video and show you that part a little closer if you don't understand. Right now it's hard for me to explain it to you. Anyway, hope it helps you. Don't forget to uh, comment and subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. All right, here's the uh, detail uh, product here. This whole thing here represents the tractor, this whole piece here. This is the same height from the bottom to the top. Is this this frame? Now, these are, uh, you see the two things here, here and here? Well, that's what them two things are. I'm, I spread this in too far apart on the demo here. So it doesn't matter how far apart you put this one from this one. I will, the first one I would put in would be this one. I will make sure that up and down and back and forward. You see where that, you see that rod there? You see it going through there? Let's see how close it is to my steering rod. Well, yours is going to be similar to that too, then plus your drive shaft. So you got to figure out, yours might be a little bit lower, or could be a little bit over. I don't know. But I'm going by this hole right here. 
All right, this hole right here is this hole right here. These three holes is the same hole over there that that cylinder mount on. That mount, uh, cylinder mount, right over there. All right. What I've done, I measured from this hole to here, from this hole to here. This is what I come up with. I come up from this hole straight over, straight up, straight over, two and a half inches. Back to there, all the way over, two and a quarter, to this one right here. Now this one doesn't make a matter. You can go either way a little bit. It don't make a matter. This one, this is the critical one. You won't make this work. Miss your drive shaft, miss your steering wheel. So everything's copacetic. This is here ain't in the way with nothing. And whatever distance you make this apart will be the distance you made this arm here. I made this little arm too short. But I'm going to demonstrate how it works. Just say that's my my pedal over. All that pedal doing is turning that one, making that one turn. I uh, don't want to act right because they hooked up. Go back forward, back and forth is all it's doing. Now what it is, a little timing in here. You see that getting tall, getting small, getting tall? That's a timing, a ratio timing for the hydrostat. And you can see that uh, you can see that in here when you do the pedal. You can see the ratio. This gets faster. When you push that pedal, this outruns the pedal that's right here. The same way this one does. But anyway, this one goes back here to your hydrostat. That's that one that's got my spring on right there. Goes to the hydrostat on the bottom down there. There's my neutral spring. <clears throat> the height from the bottom of the frame up the center of this thing is four and seven eight. There's the center line, four and seven eight. Same way, four and seven eight. Alright. This piece right here, you don't want to cooperate because it's it's not the real McCoy. This piece right here is this piece right here. I'm gonna show you. It is exactly that white piece down there. Can you see it right there? Right across there? Well, that's that one in a hole there. It's a little dark hole here. And that's that one with that uh, nut right there. See that nut? That's where that came from. Alright. Now what I've done, this is what this is. Exactly. The same one that is. What I've done, you see how both of them up top? You need to cut this one off and stand it straight up and down. It can't be laying down like it was factory. It's got to be standing up straight up and down. And it's got to look like that, standing straight up and down. These can be well fixed in position. This needs to be lined up with that. Now this is a collar on here, and this is a collar. This is two and an eighth, this collar here. This is over two inches. Don't make no matter. What you want to do, you want to drill some set screws in here. Drill me about three of them, and that'll lock this arm to this shaft. The same with this side over here, this two and eighth over here. Put two set screws in, lock it down to the shaft. Because they're going to be an idiot, going to get on your tractor. I got the brake lock, they're going to get on there and they're going to try to smash the pedal and it won't move, and they're going to smash it real hard. Then they're going to make this rod slip inside of here. But more set screws you got in there, the more it won't slip. The reason why you have to have it slip, you have to unloosen all these screws and you have to adjust this, you have to adjust this pedal, you know, by twisting this to make this go back and forth. Say your pedal is too far over there, I can't do this, but anyway, you adjust that to where, where you want your pedal at. And uh, this is, all this is adjustment. This piece and this piece has to swivel. This and this and this is all welded together. This is a hole all the way through it. So I don't know how much more detail I can give you. And uh, you see I got the uh, the nut which will be this side. They got a they got a see where they got a bushing? Did that went in from inside out? Now I don't know if you drill a hole in the frame and not put a bush in there, it ain't gonna last very long. But I will come up with something to make a bushing for that. And on the other side, they, all I done was put the bolt right back in there. See it? Look inside of there. See it in there? I just put the bolt back in there. You see this bolt right here that's, that's holding the pivot rod? Well, you could do the same thing on the other side rather than drill a hole in the frame and try and use it for that rod to wear on that 
10 8 inch frame just put a uh, another bolt nut just like that uh, by the way I don't wear makeup on my fingers or or lipstick whatever I was painting something red today and I haven't get it on my fingernails so I'm not gay so so the bolt just fits right back on this end right here when it goes into there it just fits right back in there this is the piece I took out of the column right here and which I I could have cut that all loose and put it that way I didn't want to it's just all rushed so I decided to build a new one so this is a new one here I needed it straight up actually the way it tried to sit now is it has to go the other way but it's fine but I needed I, I put it the same what they got same distance apart here and there same distance apart there and there so my hydrostat pedal will move it will move the short linkage then this long linkage will move the hydrostat and I have another linkage on uh, uh, the one on top, let me find it. This one right here. This is one up top. From this point to this point, it's what I made in here. I don't, you probably can't see it, but it's hanging down in there. See if you can see it. I got to, uh, see that piece right there? That'd be standing straight up. I, it be standing straight up. I can't get to it right now. But anyway, that'll when you push the pedal, it'll make it go back and forth. Well, that's all I about. I got to say. I mean, there ain't no much more I can tell you because I'm. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thank you. Bye.